Cody, Plex, maybe you have heard these names passively in some capacity, but never really bothered to find out more information. Well, allow me to unlock the mysteries behind these special applications as I uncover what has been known for some time as media player software. Digital media is a big deal nowadays, especially when it comes to streaming across the web. Still, in terms of overall quality, and in some cases cohesiveness, most player devices fall short of putting it all together in the most fantastic way possible. Intermedia player software, programs that can support multiple video and audio formats, live TV streaming over an internet protocol, and broadcast your personal media collection across several different devices for you and your family to enjoy. In my opinion, if you want the ultimate cavalcade of unparalleled multimedia accessibility, then you must have media player software at the center of your media device of choice to delegate this much sought after entertainment. Now, if you are mostly into streaming your media through applications like Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube, this may not be for you. After all, Media player software mainly utilizes the physical media that you already own, brings it all together, and ties it up in a nice pretty bow for you to enjoy. Today I'll be giving you an overview of two media player applications that you may want to consider for your ultimate media playground. In terms of ushering in an age of media player software, Kodi most likely is the name that will surface as the godfather of media player creation. Originally introduced as homebrew software for modified Xbox consoles, known then as the Xbox Media Center, Kodi is now a free open source application available on several operating systems and home media devices. Its highly customizable interface is probably one of Kodi's biggest draws as its open-ended development allows for several options that will give your display a moving wow factor. Kodi's features allow you to access media in several different ways, whether it's from the local storage of your media device, a PC, or a dedicated media server, Kodi can bring it all together and serve it to you in the most palatable way possible as it organizes and showcases your media by scraping information from various databases available on the web. Even without access to the internet, you can still have a vibrant media experience with Kodi, and though it will certainly take some more work to make this all come to fruition, I think it's definitely worth it, don't you? Unfortunately, Kodi is not without its shortcomings. Updating is not as straightforward as other applications and may lead you to starting things clean, not something you really want to deal with depending on how extensive your setup gets. Application support is also a toss-up due to Kodi's free open source nature where developers will often stop development, leaving a favorite program in the wind and you looking for another alternative, so keep this in mind. Even with its apparent drawbacks, Kodi is still my recommended go-to for the best setup. The open developer support for Kodi means that you will pretty much find your favorite applications will integrate easily into Kodi's ecosystem. Outside of Kodi, nothing seems more colossal than that of the Plex Media Player software. Plex was originally built from a fork of Kodi and has since then become a monster of its own, surpassing Kodi when it comes to overall accessibility. Plex's biggest feature comes with its ability to easily let you stream your own media on any device that has an internet connection available. Like Kodi, Plex supports several different media formats, but more importantly, it can easily convert your media to work on any device that supports its application. While the basic application for Plex is free, a premium service is available that will net you some additional features that includes downloading movies to any device for offline enjoyment, cloud storage integration, and a DVR service for a monthly, yearly, or lifetime fee. Plex's biggest caveat is what it may take to make all the amazing features function as the main device needed to run the Plex Media Server program will have to be somewhat beefy in the specs department to get it all running smoothly. Plex's interface is all you get in terms of look, though it still offers up your media on an appetizing plate for you to enjoy nonetheless. While there are certainly more options available for media player software, some of which can even be a complement to these programs in question, I feel like Kodi and Plex are bar none above the rest of the competition. With that being said, there are a few new applications I'm slowly being made aware of and may just showcase in the future. I'll be going over both the installation and setup for these softwares, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to catch those incoming videos. For now, this is The Core, your resident entertainment techie, signing out.